Yeah, this is the loudest one, but I just can't seem to find it. Whatever it is. Got it. Right there. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> yeah. Good morning or good afternoon everybody. Welcome to the channel if you're new to it. My name is Polly. Today we'll be looking for gold along the river, not only because I like finding gold here, but because we just had a massive flood go through and it changed the layout down there. So hopefully it turned up some nice treasures for us to find. Well, even though it stopped raining, <laughs> Even though it stopped raining, um, it opened up the sky, or the clouds, which basically means it's going to be a lot colder. Look at that. Looks like a little necklace. It's a piece of ice on some moss. Wear that. So this area has changed a lot since I was here last. Um, in fact, a lot of the big boulders are now gone. Some of the vegetation is now removed exposing all the bedrock. So it's gonna make it a lot more easy for us to use our metal detector and try to find those targets being gold or anything else that will be here. And for those of you who don't know, gold is super heavy and it will slide along that bedrock until it finds a crack or crevice to fall into. And from the looks of it, there's lots of cracks and crevices and places for us to look. So let's start right here. Okay, right away we have a, a target. Listen. That was a loud target, so it's it's gonna be easy to locate. If it's gold, you'll see it right away. It's super bright, but if it's not, then we're just gonna have to pan it out. Oh, I'll bet that's probably our target. A bullet! Target number one. I would take the headphones off for you guys to hear also, but I need the volume as low as I can get it to save battery. The flood almost took out this tree. <laughs> that will probably be a nail just so just because of how loud it is. The only time Anything is that loud and not a nail is rare. But yeah, just as I thought. Another nail. So this is what you would call a low pressure zone. And it's where, it's a zone in the river where the pressure drops and drops anything heavy. Gravel, rocks, metal, gold. Another reason why we're digging here. And all I have is my spoon, so this might take a little while, but. I just want a, a rough idea of what we're going to find in our first pen. Mixing up all the material, separating anything heavy from anything light. You can already see the piece of gold right there in the corner. So that's a good sign that there might be gold in the pan. Yep. So our first pan in that test, three pieces. That means we're gonna stay there, dig it out, and hopefully find more. I'm finding that this bedrock is so loose and it's just breaking apart, which is good. Because anything heavy, especially gold, will fall in these cracks like I was mentioning and they'll go right down to the, until you can't go any further. And that's what we're cleaning out. So hopefully it'll be better than our first pan. And our first pan wasn't too bad. Let's try this one. <laughs> Thank you. 
I see a little bit of candy. It is a law. Then our first. Nope. Three pieces again, but just way small. Flap hoop. I say we keep going anyway. That's what I say. So it's gonna take me a while to actually get to the very bottom of this. There's bedrock here and there's bedrock there. And there is a pinch point under here, which will probably hold the most amount of gold in this area because gold being heavy, it's gonna go down low. I only have a spoon today. I don't feel like digging this whole area out with a spoon. So I'm gonna do one more pan out of here, see what we get. And then I'm gonna continue with my go buck toe and see what we find. We have three again, well four pieces and a whole bunch of small micro poops. So our best pan, but as much as I do want to continue in that spot, I do want to finish metal detecting. When you're using a metal detector, you're going to come across a lot of garbage. Finding other people's garbage. Another nail. Look at this. Another nail. <laughs> yeah! This little bullet could have been a gold nugget. But it's not. So as long as you're consistent, you may find what you are looking for. Oh man. I keep <laughs> I keep getting signals, but I don't know if it's the the actual bedrock itself or it's something, but I have one in here, then one over there. And no matter how much I scratch and look around, it's the signal stays the same. Yeah, this is the loudest one, but I just can't seem to find it, whatever it is. It, it, there's a lot of mineralization in this rock. It's very ironized. And that could be giving me a, the signal. That one's the loudest, but it's... Dig, 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 dig. Got it. Right there. You can see it. <laughs> yeah. See, I just broke some of the loose bedrock. That's probably where I was hiding. Little mouth trick. That is our first nugget of the day. Hopefully there will be more. That is cool. I love that. That's, that's a good sign that there could be more gold around. <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> After digging and digging and digging and finding nail after nail after nail, I finally found another nail. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, what is that? That's new. Hopefully there's another one in here somewhere. Hey look, there's another target in there. I wonder what it could be. Oh my goodness. I wonder what that is. <laughs> now this is a square nail. A um, bit different from the other nails. This nail is older, but it's still not gold. So. And because we're finding so many nails here, we might as well pan all this material out in case there's anything else heavy. So I cleaned out that spot, panned it out. We found three pieces. One I would consider a small picker or a small booger. So that's cool. We will carry on and hopefully keep the trend going of finding candy. That's nice. Feel how fluffy that is. Feel how fluffy that is. I'm gonna show you guys how strong I am. Hiya! I'm <laughs> 
It was made for the bush. Guess what I found? A nail. For you guys, it's maybe six, seven minutes or so. For us, it's been all day. One piece of gold, well, a whole bunch of pieces of gold and one nice piece of gold, and then just nails, lead, bullets. Yeah. I want to find one more piece of gold. I don't care how big, how small, just one more. And then, uh, then I might call it a day, but I'll say that and then I'll keep looking and then maybe it won't be the end of the day, but one more piece of gold. Let's see if we can do it. I got another target, but it's very faint. I'm kind of just gambling at this point. I'm, it's probably going to be nothing, but we're here. Might as well dig it. Okay, I don't think I hear it no more. So, yeah, it's either in the pan or it wasn't anything. Let's find out. <laughs> there it is. I don't know if that was our target. It looks kind of small, but it's a fat little picker. A fat little booger, so. We found another piece of gold! Oh! I'm hungry! <laughs> okay. Ow. That was actually a good day. Um, we were looking for gold the entire time and found a lot of nails, but we did come across one nugget and a few other little pieces of poop. So that's good. So let's go back to the house, look at the gold a little closer, and go from there. Back at the blue room now, ready to party. Let's go have a look at what we found. Here's our gold take of the day. I've done better and I've done worse. It's always good to come back with some candy and especially pieces you can pick up. Now check out the non-gold or vegetables we pulled from the river. Now for the weigh-in, starting with our piece number one. I'm gonna guess about a gram, our one little nugget there. 1.12 glams, not tea bag. Now for the rest of the micro dots. 10 ounces. 0.35 grams, so all together is 1.46 grams, sweet. So under two grams of gold isn't enough to survive on in today's world, but fortunately I don't look for gold for the income. I look for gold for the outcome. Now, if you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming up in the near future, such as arrowhead hunting videos and just other things I would like to bring you guys along on. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see anything else extra, like behind the scenes footage and whatnot, I do have a Facebook and Instagram open. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, I will see you later. I hope, please.